Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Uh, I got a nice little two year old beaver tied up down here in the snare. So we'll uh, slip down here and take a look at him right quick. Oh yeah, nice little two year old. Year and a half, two year old, something like that. We'll uh, just tie it up there in the snare waiting on us. Now my snares, again, I'll kind of go over this with you. My snares, I make them myself. They are seven feet of 330 seconds, seven by seven cable for the tail. And then uh, roughly somewhere between 28 and 30 inches of, of uh, 564 one by 19 for the loop. Uh, and then here in Iowa, I have to run a deer stop and I'm allowed to run any lock that I want. Now, as far as locks go on that one by 19, kind of go over that a little bit with you here right quick. Uh, I like the cam locks because they're more of a positive lockup on that cable, but they're a little bit slow. Even on, even with by loading it, they're still a little slow. Uh, the uh, micro lock is really super fast, but sometimes you don't get the positive lockup with it on a one by nineteen like you do the cam. So, you know, whatever you have to use in your state, whether it's a uh, uh, whether you can use a cam and, and call it a snare or whether you have to use a cable restraint, uh, by all means, check your laws, check your regulations, and, and go from there. So anyway, we'll get this beaver taken care of. I'll get the set put back in and show you all what I've done. All right, guys, that's all I've done right there. Now, normally I don't like this open of a bank that I have here, but I just this sandbar, I don't have any choice. See, the beaver's been coming up down there making mounds. They've been up right here making mounds. So just throw the mound up there a little bit, throw some lure on it, hang the snare back here about a foot and a half, two foot from the lure. So the beaver has to pass through to get to the lure. That's all there is to it. Snare and beaver is easy and simple. They go together pretty good. So, all right, guys, we are out of here and on to the next one. All right, guys, and I forgot to mention, too, back there when I was talking about my snares, that uh, I run a 600-pound test, 2 hot Roscoe crane swivel. It's They're made for fishing, but you absolutely cannot use a regular barrel swivel. You have to use a crane swivel, otherwise they'll just explode it and walk, away, walk out. Uh, the crane swivels and the 600 pound test, I've never had any anything blow them up other than maybe a deer in a coyote train. Um, as far as holding coyotes or holding beaver or anything else with them, I've never had one fail. So I just wanted to make mention of that so that, you know, that way you've got that information. All right, gang, the weather is taking a turn for the worse, but we got a dandy old beaver right there. So we are going to get him dispatched and taken care of and, uh, get on our way here all right guys we got one tied up down there in a caster mound uh looks like a pretty fair sized beaver from here caught in the number four double long spring by the back foot so uh we'll go down there and take a look at him and get him reeled in and see what he looks like yeah fine fine specimen of a beaver so anyway just a caster mound here and uh just caught in that number four there, so we'll get him dispatched and get him taken care of and, and get on down our way and get some more. All right, gang, there's a little old beaver tied up right there by the back foot. Had a, uh, had a pocket set in here. Beaver dig those naturally, and I'll show you I'll show you how I do them here just as soon as I get him dispatched. Uh, caught by the back foot, not a big beaver by any means, but a beaver nonetheless. And, well, I'm happy as heck to have him. It has been one terribly slow spring for me with this, all the rain we've been getting and this water jumping up and down like a yo-yo. I've had a hell of a time trying to keep sets working. But uh, anyway, we're happy to have him and we're going to take him and uh, I'll catch up with y'all here just a little bit. Hey guys, I don't know how well this is going to show up here in the camera, but anyway... I just dug out a little shallow pocket right there and I put a little grass in the bottom of it because beaver do that naturally anyway. And then your trap goes right there. It's not anything complicated. It's not a special deal. It's just something they do anyway. So you just learn to take advantage of it. They they get up in there and they loaf around and they preen in themselves and uh, just uh, generally just have a ball in there. So you just throw a little lure in there and... Uh, 
he'll just suck her right into it. It's like I said, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. So anyway, we'll get it remade here and get on down the road. All right, gang, we got another one here. We'll uh, get a hold of this cable here and get him pulled up. Take a look at him. All right, there he is, a nice beaver with that. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll get him dispatched. We caught him in a snare here. We cast him down. He's going to get me drowned. So we'll get him dispatched and get on our way here. Would you look at there? There's a beaver dam. I just happened to be coming down the road, took, decided to uh, take a roundabout way home, and uh, sure enough, there's a beaver dam. I'm not going to set it today because we've got rain coming in here tomorrow, and I don't know how much we got coming, but uh, I believe right over there on that point is a good place for them to die. There, and then right over on one of these points over here as well. So anyway, tomorrow, we'll see what the weather does, and then we'll get this set up and uh, see if we can't get them out of here for the, for the, nothing else for the county anyway. So anyway, we'll just go down the road and see what else we might find today. All right, guys, we're going to end this video here. I know it's not anything earth shattering. And, and like I said, guys, I've been fighting this high water and up and down like a damn yo-yo for two weeks now, it seems like, or maybe even longer than that. Uh, I don't have a lot of sets out. I've only got maybe 15 or 20 out at the most. I'm not setting the world on fire by any stretch of the imagination, but I know some other boys that ain't either, not in my opinion. You know, I know some boys that have got 100 sets a piece out and running them on a two-day check, and for the numbers of traps they've got out per night, uh, they're not setting the world on fire yet either. I honestly don't believe that the dispersal has started yet here anyway. Um, we've got some rain coming in here, I think starting tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, and then we've got a little snap of cold weather coming for a couple of days. Now, I think, I can't know for sure, but I think that once we get through that little cold snap, the dispersal should start. Uh, the beaver that I've been catching have been all pretty nice. Uh, I've only got a couple of them that have some a couple of bites on them. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing to indicate that, that it's the dispersal started yet. So, uh, anyway, guys, I sure appreciate you tuning in to watch. If you haven't, would you please I'll go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Hello, Timber. For those of you that have been wondering where Timber's been, since I am handling live beaver, I've been leaving her. <laughs> She's been staying in the truck because I'm scared to death that them, be, you know, she's not smart enough to stay out of the water with them beaver, and uh, she'll cut the, she'll get cut to ribbons. Um, I know an old boy that had a hound one time that got a hold of a live beaver, and you know, 700 stitches later, and almost lost the dog on top of it. And I, I don't want to lose my little buddy. So uh, anyway, thanks again, guys. Stay with us. It's going to get better. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.